Okay, so we're back uh, continuing on with this lost in translation. Hopefully I can find my way. Where the hell is this rock? Research book. I don't know where the research book is.
Have you found the inscription? Hmm. Not yet. The inscription is nearby. I sense something else, though. Nocturnal presence. The Grand Maestro mentioned Daedra. I never imagined they belonged to one of the patrons of the court of Bedlam. This changes everything. Now I'm really interested in helping you translate the Right Master's memory. An excellent question. But we won't learn anything if you continue to stand here and talk to my projection. Get moving and find that inscribed stone. Well, I've been looking. Ah, fell off in my way now. Yeah.
ancient inscription. You found it. Something isn't right. I feel... Our connection. Breaking up. It's Nocturnal's Earl. Now that Lathan's gone, we can talk freely. These words of power, they aren't meant for mortal eyes. As an Earl in the Court of Bedlam, believe me when I say that Lathan isn't being totally honest with you. I wish to maintain the balance of power among the Daedric Triad. If Lathan translates this language and passes the secret on to his mistress, Mephala, she'll gain an advantage that could threaten my prince, Nocturnal. Speculate all you want. I'm here to present you with a gift. Nocturnal wants me to provide you with the meaning of the ancient words. It's in all our best interests for the right master to remember where he hid the heart of transparent lore. The phrase the right master remembers the one that repeats itself over and over. It's a spell to retrieve something hidden. When the time is right, he just needs to repeat the phrase and the heart's hiding place will be revealed. My mistress doesn't explain herself to me, and she certainly won't explain herself to you. I assume you, since the heart was hidden by the right master, then only the right master can retrieve it. Arteum is only as isolated as it allows itself to be. First, the Abyssal Pearl allowed the Sea Slowed and Mafala to invade the Sidjic Island. Then you took Lathan, an Earl in the Court of Bedlam, prisoner. We know your moves before you make them. Our princes plan to do away with the laws imposed by other powers. They want to remake Nern, reshape it to better suit their every inclination. Of course, to do this, all obstacles must be cast aside, including the other Daedric Princes. The court isn't evil. We wouldn't be a part of something that didn't add to the greater good. When our Princes are done, war and sickness will be eradicated. There will be true peace and godhood for the court, as befits beings of our stature. I am a Dark Elf, a child of Morrowind who lost her way. Anger and despair almost overwhelmed me, until Nocturnal reached out to comfort me. The Night Mistress filled me with new purpose, and gave me something greater than myself to believe in. While it's true that the Court consists primarily of High Elves, who believe their birthright is the key to Godhood, I am not so naive. Nocturnal selected me as her Earl. She taught me that loyalty is the path to ascension. And my loyalty is strong. Our princes plan to do away with the laws imposed by other powers. They want to remake Nern, reshape it to better suit their every inclination. Of course, to do this, all obstacles must be cast aside, including the other Daedric princes. My mistress doesn't explain herself to me. And she certainly won't explain her. Tell the right master, it's a spell of retrieval. Finally, I've re-established my connection to the rune. Tell me what Nocturnal's Earl said to you. I can't believe Nocturnal's Earl interfered like that. We're supposed to be allies. Why would she want to stop me from reading that ancient inscription? A spell. Interesting. And somehow connected to the Right Master's forgotten hiding place. I wonder why Nocturnal decided to share this information. She isn't usually the most forthcoming of the Court's esteemed princes. Right. I told them to interrupt my research before I could unravel an ancient and powerful language. Look, you should come back to Kapora Tower now. The Right Master wants to hear everything my associate shared with you. And frankly, so do I. I just wish I could have spent a few moments studying that inscription.
can regale the court with tales of how Paradon bravely wrestled seven volumes. Friend of Valsareth, I have a proposal for you. Oriandra, you should have consulted me beforehand. She saw an... And she took it, Tychesis. Silence, Lathan! Need I put you in chains to remind you of your status here? I'm sorry, right, Master. We should have asked permission. It won't happen again. This escapade of yours could have been disastrous. What were you and Oriandra thinking, trusting Lathan to help us translate the ancient language? Now nothing you discovered can be trusted. We're back to square one. I observed what I could through Lathan's connection, but it seems to me that the Court of Bedlam is just trying to confuse us. What do you think? Should we trust Nocturnal's Earl or not? Then we're no better off than we were. Except now we have the Golden Knight. Let's proceed and hope for the best. Perhaps I'll remember more after we use the portal. Go outside and retrieve Darien, then meet me in the Dreaming Cave. No matter whether Nocturnal's Earl spoke truth or lies, we need to recover the heart of transparent law. I'm sure I hid it somewhere beyond the Daedric Barrier. Was there anything else before you go and check on Darien? I remember I tried to resist the Sea Sloat's compulsion and was able to maintain a sliver of control. But as for a revelation spell, where would I acquire something in such an obscure language? And whose voice do I hear echoing in my mind? I remember... I remember using what control I still possessed to foil Katora's plans. I recall forging a bargain with someone. Someone I have no memory of. I remember that it was the only way to assure the heart's safety. That, my friend, would be a mistake. Somerset's ancient defenses have withered since the transparent law crystal was broken and the heart removed. Every moment the crystal tower remains incomplete, another protection falls away. I'm sure that it is. But in that certainty, we gain an advantage. You'll be at my side when we locate the heart, and you'll be there to help me defend it from the court of Bedlam and their princes.
Your wounds, they're just gone. I've always healed fast, Val. I can call you Val, right? Give me a moment. I'd like to chat with our friend. Of course. Then go to the Dreaming Cave. The Rite Master's ready to begin. I wanted to thank you again for getting me out of Mephala's realm. It wasn't anything like I originally imagined. Oh, and I wanted to let you know that I was able to repair the Dawnbreaker. The sword's power should allow us to breach the barrier. No thanks to the Sigic healers. I thought they were going to slice me open to try to figure out what makes me... Well, me. I'm glad you stopped by, though. I wanted to talk to you. In private. This might sound like a strange question. In fact, depending on how you answer it, it is a strange question. Do you... Do you remember me? I'm not talking about here in Somerset. I mean, from someplace else. You don't remember me? I was afraid of that. Meridia told me that time worked differently in Oblivion, but I didn't believe her. What's happened to me hasn't happened to you yet. That doesn't matter now. What matters is I found you. Meridia told me about the Triad of Daedric Princes, and she told me about you. Even sent me to help you defeat them. Of course, she conveniently forgot to tell me how to do that, and she stopped responding to my requests. Has me a little worried. Not everyone gets a choice about the battles they fight. My prince... She's all right, but she's not big on free will. I wanted you to know that you aren't beholden to a higher power. You can decide what you want to fight for. Fixing the Dawnbreaker was surprisingly easy, by the way. Especially considering that I had never repaired a Daedric artifact before. Questions? Not like a test or anything, though, right? Tests give me a rash. But sure, yeah, what would you like to know? I wish I knew the answer to that. I remember my father well enough. He was a Breton. But I never met my mother. In fact, now that I think about it, my entire childhood is kind of a blur. I never questioned that. I'm not really sure why. Meridia only ever told me I was her vessel. I can't say I remember volunteering for that job, though. I have her magic inside me. I've had it all my life. I can feel it. But why? I have so many questions. Who I am? What I am? Why the amazing good looks and roguish charm if I'm just here to stomp on Meridia's enemies? I mean, I guess if I was a prince, I'd want a dashing champion, so I can't blame her for that. We're as prepared as we can be without knowing exactly where this pathway leads. I've even set wards that will help protect me from the Daedric Princes. Remember, though, our primary goal is to recover the heart of transparent law. The Golden Knight must wield the reforged Dawnbreaker to breach the barrier. Then we simply step through the portal and see where it takes us. Sir Darian, deal with this barrier, if you please. My pleasure. The way is open. Let's go. I'll be all right, Valserin. 
Manipulating the Dreaming Cave always exhausts me. We'll take it slow. Let the others clear the path for us. I expected the pathway to lead to some obscure corner of oblivion. But this is Nocturnal's realm. I wish I could remember what compelled me to hide the heart here. The heart is here. I'm positive. Now that I think about it, this location has a familiar feel. I've been here before. I just need to remember where I placed the stolen crystal. Take Darian and scout the path ahead. Look for any signs that might indicate where I hid the heart. Valserin will assist me and we'll follow behind you. As much as it pains me to admit, my many years are finally catching up with me. Be prepared for anything. This is Nocturnal's realm, after all. Nocturnal's minions aren't exactly modest, are they? Not that I'm complaining. one walks the path once more but where is the pretty crystal he carried last time ah, ah! did that bird just talk you heard that right pay the crows no mind They're nothing but an annoyance the crows serve as nocturnal's eyes she watches us through these annoying little creatures there's nothing to do about it except to keep moving forward until we find the hiding place I remember carrying the heart of transparent law along this path and up toward the mountain above. I remember Nocturnal's creatures moved aside to let me pass. Obviously, they aren't as accommodating as last time I was here. I don't see any alternative, do you? Perhaps more memories from when I was last here will return as we continue along the path. Clear the way ahead, if you please.
Remind me to wear lighter armor next time we have to climb a mountain. One couldn't resist the sea slowed, not on his own. Ah! What nonsense is this? He doesn't remember. So desperate he was, he leaped at our mistress's offer. Ah! Speak plainly, Crows. Come back here. I cases, calm down. There Crows, their words stir the echoes in my mind. Stranger and stranger. I remember fighting the sea slowed's compulsion with every fiber of my being. And I was... losing. I remember searching for something, anything, to keep me from giving Katora the heart. I remember Nocturnal appearing before me, offering to help me hide the heart away in a place that no one would ever find it. Then... Let's keep going. Clear the path ahead while I try to recall the rest of the memory.
Be ready for anything. path ends here. I remember this. My Jesus! What are you saying? I'm saying I remember taking the heart through that portal. With every step along this path, my memory grew clearer. This portal, it leads to where I had my fateful meeting with Nocturnal. Where she offered to aid me in my struggle against the sea slow Katora. Nocturnal offered me a spell that would hide the heart from everyone. The sea slowed, Nocturnal, even from me. As soon as I hid it away, my memory of even possessing the crystal faded like a distant dream. I assume so. Some of the details still elude me. I remember entering the portal with the heart, then returning here without it in my hands. Since I cast the spell with those ancient words, only I can use it again to unseal the hiding place. My preparations included numerous wards of protection. They should allow me to resist even the magic of a Daedric Prince, at least for a short amount of time. Through the portal, I remember an ancient ruin. Head for that, and we'll meet you there. Step cautiously. I remember very little about what lies on the other side of this portal. I remember the words, but I don't know exactly what they mean. Once I begin the spell, be ready for anything. My friends, 
The heart of transparent law will soon be back in our hands. Heart, reveal yourself. Ganoro Beren. Your chest is glowing. Ijavil. Of course. I put the heart inside myself. It was the perfect hiding place. Look, Mafala. The mortal hid the heart inside his own body. How clever. Uh-oh. Mafala and Clavicus Vile. This could be bad. But why did Nocturnal keep this from us? No matter. I'll take the crystal now, right, Master? Uh, my wards! Shout, protect me! Impressive for a mortal. But the wards won't hold long against our power. Command me and I'll use the sword power. coming from. Promise me, you'll lead them. If... Don't even say it, Hykesis! Just keep fighting! Don Breaker is ready! Just give the command! Tell me when to unleash Don 
Breaker's power. Stop that! I've got him! Wait, what's the... Nocturnal! How dare you interfere! Get out of my realm, Princess. You are no longer welcome. The heart belongs to me. We made a deal, didn't we, mortal? I cases? I did what I had to. I hid the heart, even from you. The only way to retrieve it is to kill me. <laughs> Very well. I accept those terms. No. We need to go. Now. I'll protect you. Out of here. Dawnbreaker will protect us. I hope. Meridia's vessel. You have no power here. I'll show you power, you monster. The sword of light. I'll take that. My sword! I just fixed that! The heart is mine, and soon the crystal tower will belong to me. I no longer need Mafala or Vile. Hold on! I'm getting us out of here! Nocturnal killed him. This doesn't make any sense. What happened to the Right Master? I don't believe it. The Right Master, Aikesis, he's the best of us. Besides, I thought only he could reveal the heart's hidden location. I knew he was remembering things. But I had no idea he was so desperate to make a deal with a Daedric Prince, even to foil the sea load. That was just foolish. In retrospect, though, I might have done the same. How do we beat the Triad now? Nocturnal betrayed the other princes? That's... actually, that's rather typical from what I've read. Without the heart, without the right master, what are we supposed to do now? I'm not sure there is another way. With the heart of transparent law, Nocturnal can control the Crystal Tower. And with the Crystal Tower, she can... Well, I'm not sure why she wants the tower. We'll need to consult a few experts about that. Grief does us no good unless we use it to focus our commitment. We need to rally our forces. It's time to turn this Daedric tide before the waters of oblivion overwhelm us. Thankfully, Sotha Seal returned while you traveled the Dreaming Cave. Sotha Seal said he had information meant only for Rightmaster Aikesis' ears. He asked me to send the Rightmaster to see him when he returned from traveling the Dreaming Cave. We also need to convince Sotha Seal to share the news he brought with us. But without the Right Master, he may decide to simply depart. Like all the members of the Dark Elf Tribunal, he can be very enigmatic. Maybe you should talk to him. OK. 
Okay, we're lost up this one here.